my channel if you're new go ahead and click the subscribe button and become a part of the family a few disclaimers before going into your reading so this is going to be in the sign of earth um if you do want a full reading with me i am not going to be available for january i'll be back in february because i will be going away to heal a little bit before coming back in february um please make sure that you book in advance because february is also booking up rather quickly as well so if you do want to book a full reading with me that will be linked in the description box now i also have um, an online store if you do want to shop with me as well i do sell a lot of smudge kits crystals sage um, planners and also journals if you do want to shop with me i also sell affirmation decks and my own tarot deck which i'll be using today for this reading i also have a patreon if you do want to join us on the exclusive platform i do show all of these readings or upload all of these readings on patreon first and then a week after YouTube sees it. So if you do want to see these videos first, please go subscribe to my Patreon. We do self-love, money, and protection spells and rituals over on that pl platform as well. So if you do want a spell or ritual, um, it'll be over on that exclusive private <laughs> platform. Um, uh, what else? That's pretty much it. Make sure you follow me on uh, well, subscribe to this channel, YouTube. Um, you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. So let's get into your reading, Earth. bottom of the deck you have the ten of pentacles so let's see you have the page of swords the king of cups the seven of swords the chariot the ten of swords and the knight of swords so there is a lot of air in your reading of earth also cancer pisces scorpio as well so what i'm seeing as far as your reading is that there is some sort of news or message that is about to unravel um, something that you were not privy to uh, some sort of um information that you did not know this may be some sort of secret that comes out um this may be some sort of breaking news as well i mean like social media something will break out um or for a some sort of news will come out about an air sign so gemini libra aquarius um oh my god i just ugh, i hate when this happens but i just also saw that there is going to be another breaking news about another death ugh, rest in peace take off um there there might be some sort of news that might uh, come out on the news or social media about another death unfortunately um i do also feel like there is someone that's coming towards you. This is someone who is a liar. This is someone who's very deceptive. This is also someone who may be already spying or watching you. So if you do have social media or if this is something about they know your whereabouts, either they are in contact with your family or your friends. Um, but there just seems to be like they know how to get some sort of information on you um, or they know where to go to find some sort of information about you. I do also feel like you will also decide to cut someone off or cut communication off with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. This is just someone who's coming off very emotional, very vulnerable, very sensitive. This can also be someone that is letting the, their emotions get the best of them. Um, they're also very manipulative with their emotions. So they may be pulling on your heartstrings or you know exactly what they have to say or do in order for you to kind of like sway or for you to kind of like sit back in your divine feminine or divine masculine energy. So just be careful that someone is not trying to emotionally manipulate you. I'm also saying that this is someone that wants to clear the air with you. You may have been involved with this person um, in the past. Or this may be someone that may be coming towards you that is new and is very persistent at wanting to pursue you. Or very persistent at wanting to kind of <sighs> just be careful because this. Is <laughs> I'm not. I got this. May be someone that wants to own you. Um, this is someone that's very territorial. This can also be someone that is. Um, they're very uh, territorial. 
Um, that could be a good thing. That could be a bad thing. So take it how it resonates. But I'm just seeing that someone is very territorial. Or this is someone that um, sees what they want and they just go after it. But this is someone that is just emotional about it. Meaning that um, they're... If you do decide that you no longer want to talk to this person or, or turn them down, you turning them down or you saying no to them is going to hurt their feelings. So this is someone that can be can't take some sort of rejection. Um, maybe they they get emotional and people will reject them or they just don't know how to handle rejection. So just be careful with that. Um, this is also something about someone's car may die. Um, I don't know if there's something about there's a service light already going on in your car that you have been ignoring or if this is about you kind of like having to get a new car because I mean there seems to be like something about your car already coming to the end <laughs> like you know it's time for a new car or you know it's time for you to kind of get a new car but I feel like you've been kind of like procrastinating a little bit about it and I feel like there is something about either possibly getting a new car or this is going to be something about you forcing you to get in, getting a new car because I feel like your car is going to die or there seems to be something that happens with your car where it no longer is useful. I do also feel like a lot of you are kind of really like focusing on your money which is not a bad thing. Um, I do also feel like a lot of money is going to be coming in for you, Earth Sign. So there is going to be some sort of abundance or some sort of windfall of money that's going to be coming in. I do also feel like this is you being very guarded or be, this is like you being very defensive when it comes to your finances. Um, meaning that you're very meticulous, paying attention to a lot of details when it comes to your finances. And I do also feel like this is like you being very strict with your finances like you might be putting yourself on a budget or you might be telling yourself like oh i'm not going to be ordering doordash anymore i'm not going to be doing this anymore i'm not going to be doing that anymore like i'm going to be very very strict or very very consistent when it comes to my finances so there seems to be a little bit of like you putting yourself on timeout <laughs> is what i'm getting um so let's look into the page of swords There's some sort of idea that you want to get off the ground, um, earth signs towards Virgo Capricorn. I feel like there seems to be some sort of idea, idea of some sort of creative idea that the universe may be trying to push you out of your comfort zone. Um, I do feel like this is creatively, so this is going to be something about either it's like starting a business, um, starting that, that clothing line that you want to start, starting that lash business that you want to start, starting that, you know, um, that uh, investment company that you wanted to start. Um, this can also be like someone is opening up their own tax firm. I know taxes are coming up, so I feel like someone is gonna start their own business to do taxes. So I feel, so, I feel like something lucrative is coming your way, but I do also feel like there's a little bit of procrastination on your, your end. I do also feel like Spirit may be possibly sending you a lot of signs and synchronicities about your creative efforts. Like they're telling you like, look, this is what you need to do. Let's go in this direction. But I feel like a lot of you are also afraid of constructive criticism from the masses or the community or even people online. People online could be really mean, especially the shade room, the comments. Oh my God. <laughs> like everybody has an opinion nowadays. Um, some people have nasty opinions and I just don't understand like, why do you have to put on the internet? Like why can't you just keep it to yourself? But that's a different story for another day. Um, but I feel like a lot of you are afraid of constructive criticism from people that are strangers or even like online or the community. And this is why you have not really been going after your ideas or your passions because of that fear. So also a false sense of fear as well. Um, but I do feel like your finances are going to e either way going to stabilize. Now I do feel like you also might hear from another earth sign. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, this is also someone that is very impulsive, very manipulative, but I also feel like there seems to be something about this person being a little bit of a trickster. Um, it's strange because this may be someone who may be a karmic or either a twin flame or a shadow twin flame. I'm kind of reading up on shadow twin flames, um, now so I can kind of like give you guys more information about it. Um, but I feel like there can be like a shadow twin flame, like a false twin flame, um, or someone who is coming into your life to kind of like 
show you or to teach you um, or to help you see something about yourself, some sort of flaws or some sort of insecurities that you may have. And they're just bringing it to the surface and they're helping you or they're kind of forcing you to realize something about yourself. Alright, let's look into the King of Cups. Yeah, there's a Cancer Pisces Scorpio that wants to work things out. I do also feel like you're going to have multiple suitors or people that are wanting to get to know you, not even in a romantic way. It could just be like people wanting to be your friend, like they're just simply drawn to you. Um, I do also feel that um, there seems to be that someone feels like they missed out on an opportunity with you. Like I feel like someone wants you to give them a chance. Um, I do feel like this is someone that... Um, had a, either a chance in the past with you, but I feel like they missed that opportunity or they didn't really take it seriously. Um, I feel like someone is possibly still stuck in the past. Um, I feel like someone is kind of like crying or grieving about an opportunity. Now, this can also be a financial opportunity too. Like maybe, I don't know why I saw this, but maybe your job gave you multiple opportunities to kind of like get things situated or worked out or for you to kind of like fall in line as far as your job and I feel like they've decided to lay you off or someone gets fired from their job but I feel like they give you multiple opportunities so you can't blame nobody but yourself and that's just a little bit of tough love um but I feel like someone was kind of like slacking off and your job was just like <sighs> I do also feel that there is someone that is in a, a rut um they can be going through a loss and I do feel like Maybe you have been reaching out to them several times, but they have been very closed off. They've been trying to isolate themselves. They're coming off very defensive. Or they're not even picking up or texting back. Um, that could be either you or this can be like you trying to reach out to someone else. But I just feel like someone is not wanting to talk. All right, let's look at the Seven of Swords. Oh my god, that thought cups is back. Someone is also um, upset because of their lies. Someone may have been lying or not being 100% honest, and they are um, feeling sad for lying or manipulating or misleading you in some sort of way i feel like someone is spying on you and watching you and seeing that you're happy and successful and that you may have been possibly you may have possibly moved on from them so that if you are single you might be talking to someone else but someone from your past or someone that maybe feel like they missed an opportunity with you is feeling like they messed up or they, they're seeing you happy and they they're grieving about it um I also feel like if you are in a relationship or you're um, in a connection, I feel like there seems to be a lot of hiccups in your marriage or your connection. I just feel like there seems to be a little bit of a tension, a little bit of tension. And it's strange because I feel like you both are still trying to fill each other out, even after being with each other for so long. It's kind of like, oh my God, like, does he like this? Does she like that? He seems kind of tense today. Maybe I should do this. Maybe I should do that. It's like, Still trying to figure out someone, even though you've known them for a long time, maybe someone is involving and changing and someone is kind of like afraid because it is a little bit of fear. Like when you've been with someone for so long and then they start to change, like maybe they're just spiritually growing and you're not growing. It's kind of hard because it's like you feel left out or you feel like they, they have like abandoned you. It's a little sense of abandonment too because it's just like, dang, like they're so far away and I'm still in this position. So it's, it is a little bit of being afraid that your partner is evolving and you're not evolving. You're still in the same position or maybe you're just not evolving in the pace that they are evolving. So it is a little bit of, it's a little bit scary because it's just like, dang, like, do they, do they see me as me stifling them? Do they see me as stagnant energy in their life? Like, do they see me like, 
Because, like, you know, sometimes, I'm just going to put this out there, like, sometimes people who are spiritually evolved, they think that they're better than people who are not woke. So then it feels like, then you're like, oh, like, do they see me, like, not woke enough? Like, do they see me like they're better than me or they feel like they, they have evolved past me in, in, in this relationship? So there seems to be a lot of what ifs in a situation. And it's causing someone to be paranoid. All right, let's look at the chariot. All right, chariot, chariot, chariot. Oh my God, the five of cups is back. <laughs> I can't make this up. This is the third time it's come up in your reading. Okay. So I feel like there seems to be <sighs> someone just keeps reaching out to the other person, but I feel like the other person is not ready to talk. I feel like the um the Cancer Pisces Scorpio is still either missing or grieving someone else. So I feel like there seems to be a little bit of like someone, again, still stuck in the past or having a hard time getting over the past. Now, I do also feel like there's a, a choice that needs to be made as well. And maybe, maybe a Cancer Pisces Scorpio may feel a little overwhelmed about making that decision. I do also feel like someone is just not ready to open up emotionally. And this is why there just seems to be um, a standstill because someone is still stuck emotionally something just seems to be really stuck hmm. let's look at the ten of swords i just feel like if someone is not spiritually growing or evolving so someone someone is designed to walk away because the five of cups is back y'all <laughs> and the five of swords Ooh, Chile, what is going on? And the Ace Page of Pentacles is back. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Dang, I feel like something, some a water sign is grieving something that happened that has ended. Um, maybe they're thinking about ending it. Maybe they're thinking about walking away, but they haven't just said it just yet, and that is where that tension lies. That's why I feel like someone feels like Dang, my partner is so spiritually woke and so far ahead of me spiritually. And I haven't even caught up. I haven't even hit the first step of evolving. And someone is just like, I got to leave you behind because you're not where I'm at in life. So there seems to be like two people are at two different places in their lives. Now, if you're not involved with somebody else, I just feel like this is what how you feel towards either a, someone in your circle or just, just maybe like your energy overall around people around you. Just like, dang, everybody around me is still like, she, they still at this level and I'm so, so woke. Like, I, you know, spirit talking to me on a daily. Like, I feel like someone just feels so woke and it's just like the relationships around them are very mundane and they're just very surface based. I feel like someone is looking for debt. They're looking for debt. Like, I want to talk to someone that we talk about the star, we talk about the universe, we talk about, you know, spirit, we talk about answers, we talk about altars. Like, I feel like someone is just like, where are my, where's my child? Where are those people? Where are those people that I can tie these conversations with? Because I can't have it with, with, with Shirley over here. Because Shirley don't get it. Shirley's still thinking about how she's going to make rent tomorrow. Like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> two different, totally different conversations. I feel like someone is trying to find their tribe. Ooh, this reading got real deep. <laughs> this reading got real deep. Y'all, make sure y'all like this this video because i was like whoo earth kind got a good re reading this month all right so let's look at the last card oh my god page of pentacles is back y'all might be dealing with another earth sign towards like a capricorn or someone who has earth in their chart earth signs a lot of earth five i mean air sorry and the knight of pentacles knight of cups is back again Someone has been doing a lot of thinking. Someone has been doing a lot of astral projection too. Like, 
maybe like they're visiting other people in their sleep or spirit may be visiting them in their sleep so there seems to be like a lot of astral projection i always give this example of people who understand what astral projection is watch the movie insidious it's a scary movie so if you don't like scary movies do not watch it because it's an incredibly scary movie maybe you like scary movies you can watch it but the movie insidious is a great representation of astral projection so if you guys really want to watch and understand look at it spiritually don't look at it as oh my god this is a scary movie look behind the movie like every time i watch a movie i don't look at, i don't look at it for face value i look at it as a, in a spiritual way um so look at it more so that way for all my woke people <laughs> all my woke people um but i feel like there just seems to be a lot of communication coming in from you in the universe and the universe may be possibly showing you things or possibly connecting connecting with you in a in a manner where um you're learning a lot you're learning about yourself you're learning about um what spirituality means to you because i feel like spirituality is is crafted individually for each person like spirituality is just not linear like it's not just one way it's limitless so i feel like someone is understanding or coming to some sort of realization about their spirituality so this is pretty much all that i have for you earth sign hopefully this has brought you some sort of clarity also, if you'd like to book a full reading with me, it'll be linked down below. I will not be taking any clients in January because I'll be going on a break and I'm going to be healing. Um, but I will be back in February, so please book in advance because slots will be going very quickly in February because I'll be back and everybody wants to get a reading like the next day. <laughs> so please make sure you book in advance. I do have an online store. If you do want to shop with me, I do sell this deck and I sell a lot of spiritual goods and a lot of things to keep you spiritually aligned on my website. That'll be somewhere on the screen. If you want to join me on Patreon, which is exclusive content, it's private content. We kiki at Patreon. So if you want to join us on Patreon, we focus on spells, focusing on self-love, protection, and manifesting money. Also, you guys do see these videos before YouTube because YouTube sees it a week after. So this is pretty much it. Make sure to subscribe and like this video if you feel like this video will resonate with somebody else please share it and send it to them um but this is pretty much it i love you guys so much and i will see you guys soon bye guys